So let's start with your character, who you play, and a little bit about your character. Um, I play Debbie Griswold, the wife of Rusty Griswold, the mother of Kevin and James Griswold. Um, you know, Debbie is what I like to call the modern mom. I, I pulled a lot from the mom, my mom group, which is a bunch of moms whose all their kids go to preschool together. And this is a different generation of parent, you know, and it's, um, I, I based her kind of on one, one mom that I have that on the outside seems one way, but you get into like a text group thing with her and like dirty things come out of her mouth and you just are always like shocked by that but then you go oh no I see it you have a past mama you've been d you've done stuff and I really like the idea of showing this modern mom because it's a different generation of mothers now we are the ones who grew up in the 70s and we were teenagers in the 80s and 90s which was funky and you know now we're like older parents and I, I just found that kind of a, a fascinating theme I wanted to to touch on now, were you a fan of the earlier vacation films? Who, who hasn't been, except for people who, who were young, who yeah. don't know about them. Yeah. Which is what's so cool, because we're introducing a new generation to the old ones, and hopefully they'll go back and you know, get them on Apple TV, because that's what you can do now, and watch them on their phones and whatever. Um, but yeah, I mean, of course, there, there was such a, there were wonderful movies. And it honors the earlier films, but it also stands alone. Can you talk a little bit about that? It's a hard. It was a hard line to 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 not cross over, and we really wanted to make sure that we were not trying to emulate anything, which is why I didn't go back and watch before because we that had nothing to do with what this is a new family, um, but we had to be respectful. We had to pay homage. We have. Chevy and Beverly, which is like them blessing us and saying like, yes, it's okay for you guys to do this. And so that was at this line that we really had always were very aware of, that we wanted to to kind of give people a movie, like a, just a funny movie, but with the same bloodline as, as the original that we all know and love. And speaking of Chevy and Beverly, you've got this fantastic cast in this it's crazy. film. Like, can you talk about working with like Ed and Steele and Skyler and some of the other characters in I this? I can't even believe like how lucky I am from being able to work with these people. I mean, Ed is just a dream to work with. Um, he's in my top, he's in my top five of favorite dudes that I've ever worked with. The other four were all in one movie, so he's in my top five. Um, uh, and the kids, I can't like, Skylar and Steele, I can't say enough about them. I love them so much and they are so well behaved and they are so talented and so professional and that all comes from the fact that they have these incredible families. Um, it, they, his, their parents and their siblings are just magical and incredible people and so that trickles down from there. Tell us who you play and a little bit about your character. I'll start with you, Skylar. Uh, I play James Griswold, a very excruciatingly awkward kid, like never had a conversation with a girl, a stack of journals, a foot high, um, which I feel is very different than I am in real life, but I think I may be more like that than I care, <laughs> than I care to think. Um, I play Kevin Griswold, um, just a brat, always messing with him, um, a cool kid half the time I'm not even matching. Um, just crazy, yeah. <laughs> and what is, let's, uh, tell us about your relationship, the two of you. It's, it's, it's interesting because you kind of are the younger bully in this whole thing, right? Yeah, just he relentlessly bullies me psychologically and, and physically in the movie, which is really funny and a fresh take on like the sibling relationship and eventually I kind of get a newfound sense of confidence and become a man and then I start to realize like I'm almost two feet taller than this guy, <laughs> not like a foot tall. Um, and, but yeah, it's uh, a lot of days of just getting smacked or smacked around by this guy. Now, how would you characterize the Griswold, Griswold family dynamic? What kind of family are they? Weird. It's crazy and weird. It's like, it's almost hard to explain, you know, because like, Ed's always wanted to do these things that everyone's just like, you sure? Like with the hot springs, like nobody really wanted to go to Wally World either. Kind of just dragged us all out there. Um, yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, I, and I think, you know, a lot, like a lot of families, I mean, maybe a lot like mine I've seen on family vacations just so dysfunctional, more than people, you know, want, want to think they are. And uh, everything that can go wrong will go wrong. But in the end, things like that bring everybody closer and everyone wants what's best for the other person. 
Now, have either of you had any personal family vacation stories that kind of could match the Griswold family vacation? Yeah. Yeah. I've had I've had one or two. Nothing nearly as bad. <laughs> but um, no cars flipping over down no the freeway. No cars flipping, getting stuck upside down. Um, but when I was like five, we went to a we went to Mexico, and there's we were crossing this huge bridge, and there's a huge river underneath, and uh, the locals shook the bridge, and uh, my flip flop went off into the water, and um, my dad was like, you can't just like walk around with one flip flop, you know, we got to get that flip flop, and so. He actually went into the river, and at the very end, there's this huge, like, it all came together. It was, like, this huge pond with, like, rats in it and, like, all these, like, weird birds. I don't even know. And he actually, like, swam through it and got my flip-flop, and we still have the flip-flop. It's a lucky flip-flop. <laughs> That's great. What about you, Scott? My, uh, I, but when I was younger, I would kind of terrorize my older sisters and the whole family, and we were on a, a boat, and my, my sisters and dad were diving. They were under the water, and my mom was on the boat with me. I was, like, five. And I had a sandwich that I was throwing bits and pieces of into the water, and I had like this whole array of tropical fish and all types. I thought it was like my own private aquarium. This is awesome. And my mom comes out and says, "You know, stop throwing your sandwich into the water." And then she left, which was, you know, was not a good idea. And I, I started throwing the meat from the sandwich into the water. And then all these new fish started coming. I called my mom. I'm like, "Mom, look, that's a really fat barracuda." She goes, "That's that's a shark, Skylar. Good job." And sure enough, a little bit later, my sisters and dad surfaced a ways away from the boat. So let's start with your character. If you can tell us a little bit about who you play and what's, where he is right now. Um, my character is Rusty Griswold. He is the son of legendary Clark Griswold, played by Chevy Chase in the original Vacation movies. Um, my character, Rusty, was uh, uh, an adolescent in those movies and played by a lot of great actors, Anthony Michael Hall, Ethan Embry, uh, Johnny Galecki. And, uh, and now he's an adult, and um, uh, he's got his own family, married to Debbie, Christina Applegate, who's brilliant, and two sons who are, um, one is very sort of um, artsy, and the other one is very macho. Ironically, the big one is artsy and the little one is macho, so there's kind of this inverted bullying uh, dynamic between them that's uh, both delightful and horrifying, uh, and um, it's a that's the family unit. What is the Griswold approach to a family vacation? The Griswold approach to a family vacation is get in the car and just go, and don't don't stop, don't don't lose hope, just hold on for dear life, no matter what. And uh, for some reason, the Griswolds can't catch a break. <laughs> Just everything goes wrong. Uh, but I think part of that comes from Rusty's bad judgment in certain situations. Um, but what I love about Rusty is he just always gets him back in the car. It's always, we're going we're gonna to do this. We're going to succeed at being happy. Now, this film... Uh it honors the vacation films prior to this one, but it also stands alone. Can you talk about how that? Sure. Um, when I first got the script to do this movie, I was pretty apprehensive. I didn't think I wanted to do it because the original vacation movies are so sacred to me and to a lot of people. Um, and I, I just, felt like they didn't need to be messed with. But then I read the script and I realized, oh, this isn't a remake. This isn't, we're not still in, the, in that Clark Griswold world. This is Rusty, all grown up. And it's a brand new family uh, on a brand new adventure, uh, a completely new story. So that suddenly got me really excited. And I felt like it was, um, it was this really kind of fun opportunity to play in the Griswold universe, uh, but also carve out our own, uh, our own world and our own characters. Uh, and that, uh, that, I think, is what we've accomplished, uh, and I'm insanely proud of it. And having Chevy Chase and Beverly D'Angelo pop in for, for a scene as the grandparents um, was really the ultimate affirmation for all of us. When they showed up on set, it was like, 
the king and queen have arrived.